Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a little impromptu, another Nintendo Prime podcast discussion video because today, you're not listening to this technically today, you're listening to it over the weekend, but today was the dropping of the Pokemon Showcase. Uh, otherwise known as people calling it Pokemon Direct because for some reason they think Pokemon Direct is easier to say than Pokemon Showcase. I think it just leads to people used to Nintendo Directs, to be completely honest. Wasn't it Pokemon Presents? Yeah, maybe it was Pokemon Presents. I'm pretty sure it was Pokemon Presents. Either way, it was the P's. either way, the point the point is, I don't really know why Direct sounds easier to say. I think it's just a we conditioned ourselves to it, just like State of Play and just like uh, God, I don't even remember what Xbox is. Anymore. Oh. It's been so long since we've had one of the <laughs> Xbox ones happen. Which, by the way, there's supposed to be an Xbox One happening in March, I guess, no. after the Bethesda deal is finalized. So we'll see what happens. Uh, most people were kind of underwhelmed by the State of Play. Of course, most people are also underwhelmed by the Nintendo Direct. And some people are underwhelmed by the Pokemon Presents or Showcase or whatever it was called. <laughs> um, so we had three big announcements uh, in the Pokemon Presents. Um, well, not really three. There was Okay, so it started off by just basically showing us, uh, outside of doing its little recap of Pokemon history, which was all, yeah, it's cool. You know, there's some mm-hmm. nostalgia in there, I think, for anyone who's ever touched Pokemon. Uh, new Pokemon Snap. We got some more info on that. Um I think the biggest thing we learned is that there's going to be online leaderboards, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. Because it's all, you know, Pokemon Snap's all about getting the best shot. And being able, you know, now we have additional things like we can make the Pokemon shine, we can feed them, uh, different things to try to get them to do tricks and different stuff to get like the best shots and get the best rankings as you're trying to, get, you know, get the best shots of every Pokemon in the game. Uh, I think that's really cool. I think I, I've, I've been excited for new Pokemon Snap ever since it went into development. Um, and it was showing off. Uh, any thoughts on Pokemon Snap? I thought it looked good. I no, mean, like that, that was, was one that of the was, best that things they showed. Yeah. My favorite part of the of the. And it takes us back to yeah. our childhood, and we were waiting for a new Pokemon yeah. Snap forever. For sure. I uh, found out it's being made by Bandai Namco, which is really interesting because Bandai Namco has been on fire with everything they've touched that's Nintendo, except of course for Metroid Prime, which got moved away Whoops. from them because uh, apparently they weren't doing such a good job of that. But uh, Ben and Apple's worked on like three different Smash Bros. games now. And like, dude, they're, they're quickly becoming practically a second party developer for Nintendo at this point. Mm-hmm. Good for them considering Sony has basically abandoned Japan, but more on that in a different video. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't think we really have much to talk about with that game other than it's awesome. It's exciting. Are you picking it up? It's coming 4.30. And an end of not next month, but the month after. So a couple months from now. Maybe. I don't know. It, well, you haven't had one since the N64. No, days. I haven't. And it does look cool. It does look cool. Um, but I, S- yeah. Just I, waiting for Breath of the Wild 2? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, no, I'll probably end up watching you play it for a while and then seeing how it is. and Sure. And, and then probably pay, possibly picking it up from there. I don't know. Okay. It's It, it looks cool. It's a Pokemon Snap game. It. Yeah, it's I, I probably don't know if cool, we really have much to say yeah. about it. Like, it, we're both, it looks really good. Like, we have nothing negative to say about the new Pokemon Snap. It, it just looks good. Is it is that its own region? Uh, I can't remember. It's the, I can't remember. They announced what, what region it was, but yeah, I'm not a Poke, I'm sure enough of a Poke Poke, expert to yeah, know. Yeah, it's it's like a... Oh, God, it was some... I know it started with an L. Uh, why? Lanayru. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, that's no. Zelda. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um... So after that, they hit us with a bunch of like 25th celebration things they're doing in all the current games, Sword and Shield, all the mobile games. Uh, what I liked about this section of the is that they zoomed through it. Like they didn't mm-hmm. spend a lot of time on any of it because I think they knew people were here for new announcements. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, look, not everyone watching cares about the mobile games. Uh, it was interesting when Magikarp Jump came on. I, I got a good chuckle. Uh, it's a, that phone game where they, they just called it Jumping Game. I'm like, it's got a name, you know. Yeah. It's called Magikarp Jump. Yeah. It's not just called Jumping Game. But maybe in Japan it is. I have no idea. Yeah. Um. So I thought that was kind of funny watching them. Like, oh, we got 25th celebration items in Jumping Game. I'm like, yeah. That's Magikarp Jump. I have that on my phone. I know what that is. Yeah. Um, it's one of the stupidest games I think I've ever played. But it exists. It's real. Um. Anyways, so they went through a whole bunch of different of, of the Pokemon updates, which was fine. It is the 25th anniversary celebration. So, mm-hmm. okay, cool. You're going to do a bunch of stuff like that. It was there interesting was a- to see, like... Oh, uh, was it Zapdos, Articunos, and uh, Mewtwo, and uh, was it Charizard as some of the main uh, uh, raid battles in Go Now? In Go Now, yep. Nice. Yep. So yeah, that was that was pretty cool. So the, the, there's some cool things they're doing, but they kind of zoomed through it because they, I think they knew most people are like, okay, yeah, you're gonna either if you have those games, you'll get the updates in those games that tell you about it if you care. Um, 
Everyone's waiting for the new stuff, and they didn't take long to get to it. Uh, first off, we got up. We, we got our Sinnoh remakes, everyone. We got our Gen 4 Pokemon remakes or remasterings. I don't know what you want to call them. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I, I, I don't even remember the names. It's Shining Pearl and like Dazzling Diamond or something. Dazzling Diamond? I, I don't yeah, know. I'll, I'll throw it up on screen. I'll throw it up we on are bad. No, we're not bad. No, 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 stop. No, no, no. It's nothing to do with being Pokemon fans. We're not bad because that's how little we're probably impressed by what they're doing that we don't care to remember what it's called. Uh, I'll give you that one. It's Gen 4, okay? Gen 4, I still played Pokemon in Gen 4. I still play Diamond and Pearl. But here's the thing. I don't have as big an issue with this game as a lot of people do. Um, I think people were hoping for something that this game was never going to be. Um. I think they wanted this game to be using the Sword and Shield engine and just fully, mm-hmm. re, like a full on remake ground up. Yeah. They didn't. They Link's Awakening it. Yeah. L- look at what they did with Link's Awakening. The team that the team behind that, Grezzo. Like, they went with Unreal Engine 4 and technically they remade it from the ground up, but it's basically just the same game with a fresh coat of paint. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what they're doing here. The chibi art style kind of fits with Pokemon. So yeah, it that does. That doesn't bother does. me. No, and, you for know, sure. people were putting up comparisons like, oh, it doesn't look as good as Let's Go. I'm like, well, okay, you were bitching about Let's Go when it came out. Now you're <laughs> right. saying Let's Go is what you right. want them to do? No, we want it to uh, just visually look like Let's Go, not gameplay-wise. And honestly? Like, but I, I, here's the thing. Well, okay, no, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Honestly, I thought it looked better than Sword and Shield. I know some of the, some of the, like, the zoomed-in shots of Sword and Shield, the, the graphics were terrible. Yeah, they, they were the, the shadings were just god awful. Yep, and these ones it looked a little bit more polished. Well, this thing here's the thing: there's lower expectations for the way that they did this. It's basically the original game mm-hmm. with updated visuals. They didn't try to go a different perspective. They didn't try to do anything hot with this or anything special. Uh, it's an outside team making it. It's not Game Freak, so that's something to remember as well. Game Freak did Let's Go. Game Freak did. Uh, Sword and Shield, they did not do this game. They hired an outside studio, which is exactly what Nintendo huh. did with Link's Awakening. They hired an outside studio. Granted, it's a studio that's been working with Zelda for a while, but it, it was interesting, one, to see the Pokemon company trust the yeah, outside right? studio because they never trust the outside studios with the main games. Yeah. Uh, and two, I think for what it is, it's fine. They're going to charge 60 bucks a pop. Oh, yeah. they, they did it for Mystery Dungeon, so they're going to do it for this. <laughs> that's just what the Pokemon company does. They always yeah. charge max price. So... I'm okay with these as they are. I, I actually don't think they look good. And if nothing else, it actually kind of makes me want to play it more than Sword and Shield. I still haven't played Sword and Shield, so I kind of want to play these instead of Sword and Shield. I almost think these might be just better overall games than Sword and Shield. Definitely possible. I mean, Sword and Shield has its advantages. The wild area is great, the little open world area mm-hmm. in, the, in the game. But I, the, like, this is classic Pokemon made to look good on an HD TV or made to look decent anyways. And I'm okay with that, actually. I'm surprisingly okay with it. But there's a reason I'm okay with it. So I'm assuming you're not going to get these these games no. at all. Because, you, I mean, no. Pokemon Snap is the thing yeah. you're most excited for, and you're yeah. still not sold 100%. I'm, I'm picking it up. Yeah. So no, I've, I've, I've just kind of fallen and, out and, of and, and that's Pokemon. good. That's good that you've fallen out of Pokemon. Because so have I. But then we got Legends. Ever since I was a kid... I wanted an open world Pokemon game. Oh, for sure. I've mm. been waiting for this. This has been like a 25 year in the making. Why haven't they done this ages ago? Mm-hmm. And so the, they followed up the announcement by saying, hey, by the way, we have more going on in the same region. And it's a brand new, really ambitious game. This mm-hmm. is why an outside company did those games because Game Freak was working on this. They're working on an open world Pokemon game. Now, look. It doesn't look the greatest. I'll admit right now, visually, it's not very pretty for now. I mean, granted, they did say not actual gameplay. Yeah. So, I'm, which actually makes it worse because how do you not have... Well, not actual gameplay, but you're showing what looks like gameplay. Right. And it was kind of chugging in some spots. Yeah. It wasn't running at a smooth yeah. frame rate. So it's like... I Do think they just tag it with not actual I, gameplay I, 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 just I, so they, I, they can get away with I, it? I think the not actual gameplay thing is literally just like a, hey, uh, we know this looks and runs like shit. 
Yeah. We don't want you to think that's, that's how possible. it's going to run at the end. So, yeah. And by the way, we're going to see the game plenty more before it comes out. So I'm sure closer to launch, it'll look better. Um, I, it's interesting, too, because I put up a video theorizing that this is actually part of another reason that Switch Pro is going to be happening sometime in the next 20 months, if not sooner, uh, because this game looks like it needs a Switch Pro. Mm-hmm. to really realize itself. And uh, obviously Splatoon 3 looked really great in comparison to prior Splatoon games. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2 we know is coming out and had struggled with 30 FPS in the last game. So if they want to go 30 or higher, go to 60, they need more power. So it kind of feels like we have a slate of massive games coming that would be really great to push new hardware with. Mm-hmm. Oh, now, for sure. Now, we're not here to talk about the new hardware. I just, I, I'm get, I was get, always getting the new Pokemon Snap. I'm not sure on the, on, the, on the Sinnoh remakes. However, I'm leaning towards getting them if I enjoy Snap enough. Because I think Snap is like the game that will really get me to the gateway b- back, back into in. Pokemon. I thought Sword and Shield would be. And we played it at E3, and I really wasn't that impressed. Yeah. So even though I plan to play that and see, and a lot of people are like, oh, good thing you skipped that one. Wait for the good one. Okay. Well, the good one's coming to me. Open World Pokemon. It's coming early 2022. 2022. Yep. Like, yes. So, look. I don't watch that trailer and think, man, I really want to play Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But I watch that trailer and I go, Game Freak is finally doing the one thing I've been asking them to do. Take a freaking risk. Yeah, no, for sure. And They're not even even calling this a new gen. They're literally just taking a risk. Yeah. And it's a massive risk that they're hoping pays off like Breath of the Wild to the point that there are shots in this game that are one-to-one recreations of the exact same trailer shots they did in Breath of the Wild trailers. <laughs> nice. They, you, they literally are not <laughs> shying away from the fact Breath oh, of the Wild Lord. inspired them. And now there's all hey, these stories going out there that, that this might be the Breath of the Wild the Pokemon, Pokemon game. We're yeah. like, this is the game that finally revolutionizes and changes Pokemon into what we always dreamed it could be. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because the anime series feels like this massive open world thing. Why doesn't yeah. the games feel that way? Yeah, no, for sure. While they've been doing linear and they gave us a little tease and sword and shit, here's... Okay. So I can almost forgive that the visuals aren't the prettiest, that the animations are kind of rough on some of the Pokemon and actually kind of like not fully working. There was one Pokemon that threw a Pokeball at where the guy was going like this. <laughs> yeah. No, the camera did not yeah. freeze there. That's what yeah. happened in the yeah. footage. Yeah. Uh, the character was running and was kind of like... Eh, eh, eh. But... Again, Again, it's it's a year out. They said it wasn't gameplay, although it's probably gameplay, just not running on a Switch. Right. Or it is running on a Switch, just not optimized. It's gameplay. It's not actual I'm not going... Basically, I'm giving Game Freak, which, by the way, people don't think they should get the benefit of the doubt. People, I agree that, like, maybe they don't deserve the benefit of the doubt. But to me, they're doing what I've always asked them to do, and Mm -hmm. they've never done a game like this before that's this ambitious. I need to let them grow into it. If it still looks the same way a month before launch then I'll start having some major concerns. Right. But until then, I'm going to give them benefit of the doubt that over the next year, they can make some big strides. And since they're clearly taking inspiration from Zelda, can't tell me that Nintendo's not on the phone talking with them, mm-hmm. trying to help them figure out how to make this open world work. Maybe, you know, Nintendo's offering offering Monolith Soft or something else in there to maybe just help guide them a little yeah. bit towards no, making, sure. like how, how, did, how did they get Breath of the Wild to run so well? Well, here, talk to them. And so let's get this because Nintendo is going to want this game to do well because think about it. If Pokemon Sword and Shield sold 20 million and they're going to Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, if they do it right, right. are we talking 40, 50, 60 million seller potentially? Yeah. If they do it right. Yeah, for so, sure. So that's how big Pokemon is. It's just that much bigger than Zelda. So mm-hmm. what did Zelda do again? Uh, or is, has done? Uh, well, on Switch alone, it's at 21. Okay. If you include Wii U, it's at 23. Okay. The best selling Zelda game before that was eight million. Holy Christ! So when, I, when you say Breath of the Wild, the game, it's not just yeah. about evolution. It's about it's, it's about making yeah. it more popular than it's ever been. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right. 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 And for sure. Pokemon Sword and Shield, which was a really popular Pokemon game, sold twenty million. Well, yeah. I mean, what's one that revolutionizes everything? Right. Right. That pulls it off, and that's right. the big thing. I don't know if they're going to pull it off, but for now, I am tepidly excited that they're trying. Mm-hmm. This no, is what I wanted them to do with Sword and Shield. That was one of the things that I did enjoy about the uh, presents. Um, honestly, this game, yet yeah, like you said, is exactly what Pokemon should have been a long time ago. A long time ago, where it they don't take away your immersion. You can just throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon. 
You don't just have like, to battle Just like in the anime Just series. like in real life. Just like I mean, in the anime series. If you were ever to be a even, real even, life even Pokemon, Pokemon Go, you could just throw the Pokeball. Yeah. It might not it might not be the smartest thing to do right away, right. but you could throw right. you can do it and see if you can catch them. No, for sure. And whenever you battle a Pokemon, it doesn't take you to a battle screen. You battle it right there in the world. Well, it seems like it's kind of a battle thing because there's still turns. It looks like. Well, no, right, but right, like but, you're not leaving. But you're the not world. leaving. You're not yeah. being pulled away into a battle screen that we are aware. That we that looked at least. It, lo- it, it, looked, like. it looked like it was just happening almost organically. Actually, what world. would be kind of cool is if you battle you're battling them. one and another one steps in. You that would be know. cool. You but, never know. Yeah. Right. Right. We didn't see that. I think. I think but, it's. I think they have a lot of ambition and a lot of ideas here. They are making it so it seems like this is an actual real life world now. And that's what I want. And not a game. Granted, they said it's only the Sinnoh stuff, so it's like a section of Pokemon. Right. But that's okay. That's if fine. this works, think about and how many sections of Pokemon games and they can make future. To be completely honest, to me, one of the biggest mistakes that Game Freak made was trying to tie all of the games together. Keeping the Pokemon going through to the next generation, the next generation, the next generation. That's to me, though. I Personally, because we grew up with Gotta Catch Them All. And now it's so many Pokemon that it's just, to a certain extent, almost impossible. To be fair, if you never stop playing, you're just catching the new ones from that current generation. You bring all your old ones with you. If you never stopped playing Pokemon, when they bring out new games, you already have the prior 500 because you already caught them in the prior games. And you carry them over, so now you're just catching the new ones. So technically, it's kind of your fault in a sense. My fault, too, for we stepped away. So when we came back in, it's like so overwhelming when really everyone that's stuck with it all these years from kid to now, they're not catching. They don't have to catch 700, 1,000 Pokemon. They only have to catch the 120 new ones. Yeah. I'd, so I that's partially it's on just, us for falling out of the game, too. It is, but... And <sighs> technically, the Pokemon company went away from the Gotta Catch Em All thing. Oh, I know they, they brought did. it back with Let's Go, but in, in reality, they know it's... Well, one, in Sword and Shield, you can't. They don't allow it. And that's actually one of the controversies with Sword and Shield is that, hey, you can't bring all your Pokemon. You can't have them all yeah. anymore. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that's going to be true in this game. But in this game, I feel oh, it's, it's completely region. separate. So it's it's yeah. going to be separate. This open world, right. you aren't going to carry any of your Pokemon. It's completely, it's like rebooting the franchise almost. To a certain way. extent, yeah, what it kind of feels like, yeah. I mean, because there's nothing like it. Right. There's no Pokemon game. I mean, maybe some fan games, but there's no real Pokemon official game like it until now. Mm-hmm. So I have a feeling that no one should really expect to carry Pokemon into it. Right. Now, I don't know what they're going to do with the Sinnoh remix, how that's going to work, if you can carry Pokemon into that or not. I don't know. Prior remakes, you could. We'll see on this one because the Pokemon companies not handling it themselves. Um, so that's something to consider as well whenever they decide to talk about that. But so you can admit that okay, this is like what we've been asking. Yeah, for a long time. For sure. And yet, you're still not really excited about it. Now, yes, you fell out of love with Pokemon. Yeah. But not even what you wanted them to do brings it, back a tinge of like. Oh no! Hope. No, for sure. It, it the. The going through the nostalgia part of that that presents it it did bring a little bit of like okay this is I, oh yeah I remember that heck yeah I remember doing that let's do this yeah it, this is great and then you gotta kind of get to, it just kind of to me it just all of a sudden it's like all right more of the same stuff more of the same stuff more you of mean the same at the stuff. beginning yeah yeah no well, but no, new no, generations no, no, right, new right, generations right, of right. gamers but, but again coming in. yeah right but the game it's the games again it just kept remi- as they kept going along it just reminded me oh yeah more of the same stuff oh yeah more of the same but game. this isn't more of the same. oh yeah but, no but now but that was at the beginning of it yeah yeah now that when we got to that part that was probably one of the outside of the pokemon snap stuff well that I mean, was there was only like three big announcements in this whole thing so right and i'll touch on that later but um <laughs> Uh, to me, that was the next best thing, or though they were equal, and I did kind of get excited a little bit for it. And the so- moment the character ran out of the town, and I was like, "Okay, we saw this in Sword and Shield, mm-hmm. Wild Area." Um, no, that's like an entire world. That mm-hmm. character just dove in the grass and threw a Pokeball at a wild right, Pokemon. Right. I literally lost it on stream. I'm like, no, yeah. This is not happening. Like, I couldn't even believe... I'm like, where's the catch? 
Where's mm-hmm. the other shoe gonna right. fall? Yeah, that right. this is like a mobile game <laughs> right. that like yeah. isn't really as open or as big as you think. Like when's the other shoe gonna drop? And it just didn't. It just kept going, and then it just started doing the pan shot, like Breath of the Wild, with the character running up the hill. And I'm like, yeah. what is? Okay, What's they're literally on? trying to yeah. get Zelda fans to <laughs> get the hell over here now. Yeah, like they are. They just they're literally just announcing this is our Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. Believe in us, even though we know maybe it's not the most perfect presentation for it. We are doing that ambitious thing you've always wanted. See you next year, mm-hmm. and it's like, mm. Mm, I can't help but get. Even though I didn't even recognize, because I've been out of Pokemon for so long, I didn't even recognize half the Pokemon they were catching. Yeah, I didn't. Right. I didn't care. Yeah. The bring them all, bring a thousand, and I don't give a. God, this is open world Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like. The inner child in me, my inner love for Pokemon instantly came back because it felt like this is why I left Pokemon. It didn't evolve. Right. Which ironically, is ironic. <laughs> considering the evolution, like, is part this of, didn't, yeah. it didn't evolve. And now this did. Mm-hmm. This is the evolution I wanted to happen a decade ago. I, I think I've been slapped one too many times by Game Freak to kind of go. A lot of people have. You know, a lot of people feel I'm gonna that get way. This, I'm going to get this, you know, 100% going to get this. Again, this is kind of one of those. I'm going to step back, look at it, it's and like, then decide. It's one, of, it's one of those. It's too good. Is it's this almost actually, too good. Too like you were good. saying, where's the butt? And, and to be honest, there's not, but. Even though I was excited for Zelda, your excitement really started. After you played the demo, oh yeah, and that's so like yeah. I remember we were well I can't remember who which one was played I think I played it first and you were yeah. recording footage yep um, and then you played it after and I just remember looking at your face because you were already enjoying watching me play then mm-hmm. you picked up and started playing mm-hmm. and literally the moment like you took out a boko blend and you broke oh, was, and you broke your was, stick and you're like what the heck oh let me I was grab this sniping plug. I was oh, sniping with sniping. the and like you had this big bone arrow on yeah. your face oh, yeah. and I'm and I'm like. Eric loves this game. Holy shit. Yeah. Eric doesn't fall in love with games like this anymore. Holy shit. Yeah, right. And I think that's the thing with this game is I don't know if we could trust the Pokemon company to do it, but they need to demo this game. Yeah, for sure. If they demo this and and hype it the way Breath of the Wild was, I'm Mm -hmm. telling you guys that if they don't demo it, it's going to make me feel like there's a catch. And not a demo like Sword and Shield demo. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, Like... no. No, I mean legit... Give you a section of the world and let you do what you want. Right. And if it works and if everything is as amazing as we hope it is. Because here's the thing. They've never done open world before. So I don't know what to expect. So like in Zelda, you can be like, they'll, have, they'll be collectibles. They'll be, they'll find a way to put mini dungeons in, which I guess they did with shrines or whatever. Like there'll be something that you can discover. Well, we only really saw them discovering Pokemon, which is fine. Mm-hmm. That, absolutely. But what else is in this big world? We don't know because they've never had, they've never given us anywhere. Like, there's the wilds, but the wilds yeah. were just Pokemon, and right. it really wasn't that big of an area in Sword and Shield. So, you can have more town. I mean, you're going to have the towns that you can go well, to. Well, like guys, the well I don't the... even know if there's going to be more towns because yeah. they said, well, this, because they said this town's your home base. I'm like, well, okay, well, right. so everything stemmed from that town. Right. I don't know. Are the other towns from the game in there? I don't know. Okay. Are, are gyms part of this? Right. You know, we don't yeah. know. Battling's part of it. We know that. Mm-hmm. You can battle other people and you can battle Pokemon. So, we know that. Battles aren't gone. You're capturing Pokemon. Obviously, obviously it's got the legendary Arceus involved in it, so there's mm-hmm. that as well. Mm-hmm. So that's really cool. That must be like the pinnacle of this game is like catching right. him yep. in, in, in the single player mode or whatever. Yep. And that's that's cool. Like that's always been like an exciting thing to catch the, the big legendary. Um, you know, just like back in the day with Mewtwo and Mew, like that, that was like the big yeah. deal. Catch the big legendary. That yeah, that's sure. that's one of the highlights of the whole game. Um, I, I'm just very curious, like, what else are they going to add in this world to flesh it out mm-hmm. um, beyond the catching Pokemon, which is a massive thing. But yeah. what else? Right. No, for sure. I mean, you'll discover HMs and TMs, I'm sure, wildly they get out a, there. But. They, they did a good job teasing this game. Oh, I think they teased sure. it in the way Breath of the Wild was teased. Right. And that, and it, it does me, make you want, it does make you want it's, well, here's to the know thing. more. They and that's set, they, the good part. I of it. feel like they took the bar and set it to a thousand. Mm-hmm. And nobody trusts Game Freak to hit that. You're bar. right. See, the Zelda team has had some aces in the hole, even if they, people feel like they didn't have a, a very good one or haven't had a true open world one since the first Zelda, the very first one back in the '80s. But here's the thing: at least the Zelda team has had 
critically best selling mm-hmm. top no, tier sure. rated games. Whereas the Pokemon Company games, the Pokemon games always seem to settle in in those nice seventies and eighties. They just sit there and they just kind of eat eat up sales and do really well. And they kind of rest on their laurels. And I know diehard Pokemon fans will tell me about all the different changes they've done. If you're really into Sword right. Show, tell me all about Dynamaxing and all. That's great. They have made some changes here and there. Yeah. Absolutely. Some I like, some I don't like. But the bottom line is. At the end of the day, when you slap Sword and Shield in, it feels, based on what I played anyways, like any other Pokemon game that I've played. Which isn't a bad thing, but when you're 25 years in, Mm -hmm. sometimes you need something different. And this is where Nintendo has been really good at innovating with this over the years with their games. Zelda games have always felt a little different. Yep. Each iteration is a little yep. bit different. And when they do get too samey, that's exactly when Nintendo changes it up. Now, with right. Breath of the Wild, I have no idea when they plan to change it up. If Breath of the Wild the two, 2 also sells 20 million plus, I don't think they're going and away from that anytime soon. Maybe another two or three games yeah, after it's, it's that. It's stop selling. Yeah. I think right. they're just going to beat, beat right. that dead horse. Right. Um, which is fine with me, by the way. Right. No, for sure. Um, but, like, even Mario, you know, Mario's been drastically different. Like, Mario Galaxy is so different from every game before. Mario 64, so Sunshine. Yeah. Was completely right. di- like yeah. just I mean the, the different the way, worlds that the you're in, different, the, me- different- the, the vastly different mechanics, like yeah. Happy in, in Mario yeah. Odyssey, never had anything like that in a Mario game before. Who knew it could be so creative mm-hmm. with Cappy in in that way? You know, where it feels like there's less power ups, but they're just different, and yeah. they're different in a way that you've never experienced in a Mario game before. Like awesome. I mean, I, like Nintendo has gotten too samey sometimes. New Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, New Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Their naming convention like, could reuse like, a little like bit of you, work, like, but uh, like that series well, of New Super again, Mario Brothers was like the same game over and over again, like three, four games in a row. And guess what? Nintendo stopped making them because people got bored of it. Yeah, and honestly, that, that naming convention kind of carried well, over. It, into it Pokemon worked. Snap. It worked well, fine for it the kept, first couple. It carried, it does, carried over into Pokemon Snap. New Pokemon Snap. Oh come on, be original. That is original. Who? What other companies using the new? At the beginning of their games. Oh, new, no, someone's gonna new mention, Super Mario no, Brothers. You gonna, no, just wait. Someone's new gonna this, no, new no, that, no, I yeah. said a different company. Someone's yeah. gonna be like, well, new Super Lucky Tale. Yeah. So we already know from one of their people, Addy Three told us Nintendo gave them that name. Yeah. They they couldn't think of what to call it because it was they felt there was enough different from the first game that it's kind of sort of a new game, but also it's still the original game. I, we don't know what to do with it. Nintendo's like, how about new? How about new? And then that's uh, what they went sure. with. Sure. So it's like. It, it's Technically, just, that new new Super Lucky Tail that was from Nintendo as well. So it's yeah, like, it's. But here's the thing: everything they put new on seems to sell. It, yeah, I, I mean, I can't new new 3ds. No, became the I, most popular I, 3ds. Yeah, line. I know. But if they call this next Switch the new Nintendo Switch, yeah, do you think? No, I mean, I it feels crazy because by the time the new Nintendo Switch comes out, this current Switch might be at 100 million. Yeah, no, but I know. If they keep this thing going another eight years, maybe that Switch hits 100 million. Yeah, who the hell that'd knows? Be, that'd be nuts. If they didn't make it iterative, if yeah. they, and they don't actually launch a new gen, it's just iterative yeah. replacements every three, four years. Yeah, no, for who sure. Who knows? Yeah, you know, family of systems. This could be the greatest selling family of systems of all time if they never technically give us a new gen for the next ten years. Right. No, you're not wrong. I mean, if they want to beat, I mean, here's the thing. The crazy thing is, if they keep the sales going, uh, remember they're at the midway point. Yep. Four or five more years. Not that. Potentially, it could be like another hundred million sales, and you're looking at two hundred plus million selling system, which is just unheard of. Yeah, nobody thinks PS2 is touchable, except Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And they own Japan right now, so yeah, um, no, so oh, yeah, they know yeah. they can yeah, squeeze yeah, no, like probably sure, another sure. 10, 12, 20 million sales out of the Japanese audience in the next five years. Yeah. So, okay. So new Pokemon snaps a maybe for you. Yep. You're going to watch me play first, make your yep. decision from there. Yep. Uh, the Gen 4 Remix, you didn't, probably didn't really play much of Gen 4 no. back in the day. I think don't, I stopped. You don't have I, the nostalgia for I it. I really kind of even stopped after Red and Blue. Got well, a little I bit of yellow, a little bit of gold, silver. Yeah, as I say, you play gold, silver. A little know that, cause, bit. Cause I didn't, we, I didn't own it. it. Yeah, but we played it. But we played it. We played yeah. it. No, But I don't sure. remember you yep. playing anything after that. No. I stopped at Black White. Um, I did own... I think you bought XY. One, you bought, yeah, X, and, yeah. Um, when we got the 3DSs. Yep. I, I bought XY. You picked, you picked up XY, I think. Yep. And, and I then, picked up the other one. Yep. And the then opposites. I think, did I buy one more? I think there was one more that I bought too, but I don't remember. Mm-hmm. This is obviously, this is so important to me that I remembered. Sorry to, for all the Pokemon fans out there. I, I just, it 
it's to me it just kind of well, the, well this here. is but this is the this is what makes us different most people talking about this will be people who love pokemon mm-hmm. we're people that well when we were kids we loved it and i guess you could say we grew out of it mm-hmm. um and you know i usually say you can't grow out of games but this is kind of the game series where it's like yeah it just felt too samey after a while and we're like hey you know what we're ready for something different mm-hmm. um and and now that difference is here now my interest is definitely peaked uh your interest is present when it used to not be yeah not the interest oh i'm gonna buy I, it the interest I, is i raised an eyebrow yeah it's like hmm, hmm okay yeah but still this is game freak and game freak has consistently done things that have let people down right so it's like but at the same point how much of that was the pokemon company and the crazy schedule they put on game freak and because the Pokemon company is very fine-tuned, controlling everything, making yep. sure games line no, up no, with the anime sure. yep. and all the... Like, yep. You can't delay games. You can't this. You can't that. Right. Well, this game literally has nothing to do with the anime as far as we're aware. This unless is they just, bring it afterwards. Well, they, unless they create an anime to go along with it. But as far as we're aware, this game has nothing to do with any current plans with for the anime series. Right. Which is like, okay, you're letting Game well, Freak potentially make you the could game ar- everyone's wanted. Because you want to see... I think... No, here's what I think happened. Now, yeah. again, they might have an animated series that ends up going along with it eventually. Well, you, you could ar- also argue, though, that they've already had it because it's a re- it's a but kind of this a Seno region-ish sure. tangent. Sure. And they had, they had the I'm pretty Maybe. sure, uh, pretty much on all of the oh, all generations. The, all the gens have had, had an animated series yeah. with it. So. But my thing is, I think what happened is there's been a way that, that Game Freak and Pokemon Company have lined up all the games all these years. All right. Then they saw that Nintendo made Breath of the Wild as big as Pokemon, which nobody thought was possible. Mm -hmm. And the Pokemon company stepped back after they saw all these sales and they said, okay, so we got to finish our current plans. Let's go Pokemon Sword and Shield. Mm -hmm. But look what happened when Nintendo took the reins off. Mm Mm-hmm. What if we did that? Like, we we, we love our consistent 10 to 15 million sales, but what if... Mm-hmm. We took the reins off. Stop trying to force the games to connect with the series all the time. Let Game Freak make the game of their dreams. What happens if that thing can blow? Like, are, have we been holding back? Like, Nintendo apparently has been holding back Zelda all these years <laughs> by not yeah. letting it be all it yeah. could be. Have they been holding back Pokemon to the point where it can be a forty? It can be. A, it can be a GTA Five selling eighty million copies. Yeah. If they yeah. stop holding back. Yeah. I, I, and stop trying to. Keep it on this such a strict development schedule that ha- like I don't even care if it gets delayed out of twenty twenty two. Good, that's a new thing for Pokemon. We don't delay games in Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So if it gets delayed, I'll be like, oh my god, they're actually doing it right. They're not forcing the game out when it's not ready. Yeah, this is I, no for sure. I don't. Oh, I'm I'm so. But again, Pokemon Company and Game Freak have not done enough to earn this level of faith. Right. But it's just, we also never thought that we would see this in our lifetime. And I am also a cynical person. So, you know. Well, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. So it's kind of one of those things that, eh, it, I, it, I think it all depends on what you're into, though. It's because got, I, Mr. Cynical over here was so pumped for that Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles remake, yeah, remastering. Yeah, f- all pumped. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. They're going to probably mess this up. And yeah, they messed it up. They messed it up. So it's like, you so weren't yeah, cynical about that. See, you're not cynical about the things you love. You know, as an example, if they announce, hey, we're going to do a full remake, ground up of Mario 64, you'd be like, they right. may want to buy it. Yeah. No, but no, then what sure. happens when they mess it up? Yeah. 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 See, right now, the Zelda teams earned your faith for now. Yeah. Until they mess it up with Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, for sure. I, mean, yeah, right. I don't no, think it's no, possible, but, yeah. but I mean, it, it, you never know. For now, I just got to get you to beat the game before the second. I'm game. getting, but hey, the no, release no, date's sure. not here yet, and no, you can literally, guys, I, it's Breath of the Wild. He can I'm, walk in and beat the game anytime. I'm he wants. literally there. Yeah, it's, he can. He can literally beat the I'm game anytime just, he wants. He's, I, I kind of like savory. doing. No, I just like doing side quests. And, so what? That's okay. That's the thing about Breath of the Wild. It's so great. You don't have to rush to do anything. Yeah. Play it at your pace and play it forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, folks. So that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this. Really unique discussion. Hopefully you guys uh, are enjoying these kind of mini podcasts that we throw together every now and then when an event happens that's a little bit too far away from the next podcast. So we'll probably have different topics for the podcast then. So we want to get this discussion out to you guys. Eric actually had a lot to say this time. So that's also I awesome. I actually have more to say. Woo! But What do you got? Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Stop the press. Eric, the floor is yours. Well, 
No, nope, go. What is what is the first thing that I actually texted you? I have no idea. You know how busy I am during the day? You know how many videos I have in editing right now? Yeah. I barely check the phone when Yulia texts me, and yeah. she's my, my fiance and lives with me, and is the mother of my children. No, I know. But So you, you know, on the priority list of me reading your text messages, I'm aware you texted me about yeah. Pokemon, and that's yeah. about it. Yeah, no. I'm going to preface this saying I was at work when I watched it. Okay. But to me, the, presents, the presentation was a little underwhelming. Okay. To be completely honest, you had three major things. Okay. One of which was a remake. Come on. But I we, mean, I'm not I'm not saying remakes are bad. But what, come what, were, what, were, what were you on. expecting? What were you expecting? Give us a new stadium. Give us a new trading card game. Give us something new. Isn't that I mean, exactly that's what they what did with Legends. Legends. They did. And tr- trust me, but when it's an anniversary, you're building this hype. I, to me, a remake is something that can be announced at, you know, as a partial, not like eight minutes out of the half hour. And that could be focused on five minutes. We're remaking this. That's Fantastic. Cool. Here's three new games we're giving to you. Let's focus on these. You know, type of thing. That's why I thought it was a little bit underwhelming. Well, they did do it in less than five minutes, but there was eight minutes of like uh, going through the history of Pokemon. <laughs> well, the, 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 you're, yeah, and they you're spent not five minutes on yeah, you're Snap. Not wrong. Anyways, you're not wrong. But to me, that's why it felt a little bit underwhelming, it, because I thought there'd be a lot more new things, and it just so your expectations were a little high. It's it's the twenty fifth anniversary. Is this is the what the first major major anniversary 20th, that they're celebrating? Twentieth. 20th? They celebrated the 25th. 20th. Oh, no, they did they, they oh, celebrate celebrated the 20th. The 20th. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, this is a it, big... It's a, cor- it's a quarter it's of a century. Big quarter of a century. It's a quarter of a century. Just call it what it is. Right. It's a quarter of a century. Right. It's a big deal. Yeah, it is. It is. Which is why I was expecting... More. More. Okay, so I'll preface why I didn't have the... Well, this just maybe comes because I pay attention more. My expectations weren't that high because, one, we've already... Ha- like, there was rumors and leaks galore that we were getting Gen 4 remakes. So I expected to see those, and I knew those were going to be the big Pokemon games this year because the year's a remake, though that's the big game. Mm-hmm. Um, we already had new Pokemon Snap. You could argue that's your stadium because they just pre- previously announced it. And the Pokemon Company basically only has one or two games on the works at a time that are, like, a big deal. Game Like a new stadium or Coliseum, that requires a massive team. Their massive teams are making Legends... It's like asking, it's like getting upset at the Zelda team because they're making Breath of the Wild 2 and we just got an HD Skyward Sword and that's it. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not happy about it, but. <laughs> but it's like, but you're, but it's like, but in the end, as long as Breath yeah. of the Wild 2 kills it, that's what matters. And think about that with Legends. If Legends is that Breath of the Wild like game. No, for sure. Then what does the rest of it even matter? No, I know. And, and, and I know. I may be too down on it. And it, it just. I think you were looking for me, you were looking for the announcements that would get you excited about Pokemon. Yeah, and Stadium and Coliseum. We never got sick of those games. They just stopped making them. Yeah, yeah. Never got sick of Snap. Trading already, card game. They already yeah. knew it was a trading card I mean, game. How how many times did they go? Hey, trading cards. To trading cards. Fa- trading oh, cards. To be fair, I know. See, this is where you were just hoping for a trading card game. They have one. They've had one forever. You. Can, they've now taken the actual real life trading card game, and there's an app on your phone, and now you're, they already have the trading card game on your phone. They, so they've already done it. It's just we don't play it. So technically, the trading card game you want sort of exists, not yeah. exactly in the same way, but it's still one of those like they have a whole different company that focuses on all of that, and they're killing it. And the trading cards are worth more than they have, they've ever been worth ever, and they're doing a really good job with it. We're not gonna we're not gonna get the Game Boy trading card game days probably ever again, Which and sucks. I, that sucks. Now, I think the interesting thing about Coliseum and Stadium, I don't think we need a new Coliseum or Stadium game. I think we just need to see that brought into a real Pokemon game. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be separate from. It should be in a Pokemon game. Yeah, but I did like the mini games. No, the mini games are fine, but can't put mini games in a pokemon game no, there's no, mini no, games no, I, in I, I zelda know. guys we have mini games in zelda we can have mini games in pokemon yeah link's awakening has mini games fishing <laughs> claw game yeah i mean come on yeah i 
I don't know. Anyways, That's, anything else you yeah. had to say? That was just no, the, you, were, you were underwhelmed overall because was, you were expecting yeah. some more announcements. I was. Some bigger and, ones. And just... To me, again, but again, the moment they me, showed Legends, I didn't care about anything to else me, they showed, and that's sad since I'm really excited for right. for Snap. But the moment right. they showed Legends, I'm like, no, my child, no, my inner it. child is out. This isn't even a generation of Pokemon I was into, and I don't even care. They could have made this Sword and Shield. I, I don't care what gen they pick; it's open world Pokemon. No, for sure. That they're probably gonna mess up, but I'm. <laughs> yeah, you're giving me hope when they when they mirrored the Breath of the Wild shots. I'm like, I, the whole time I'm like, they know what they're doing right now. They are setting this bar insanely high. Do not let me down. Mm-hmm. Because you are put you know you're making direct Breath of the Wild comparisons with how you shot this trailer. You know what you did. Yeah. You can't do that and then disappoint. That's a thing that can right. really no, sure. damage. Like Sword and Shield, maybe there's people who don't like it, but it didn't really damage the brand. This ambitious of a game advertising yourself in a oh, similar and, fashion to to Nintendo's game of the generation. And the biggest thing is mm, too you can't you're you can't let people down with this. If you swing and miss, guess what? And that's what that's what it's, the Pokemon company's been afraid of if forever. Is if, if they, they swung swing and miss, miss yeah. guess what? You're never gonna see them take a chance again. Oh no. Never. Oh, no. You like the Sinnoh remake? Get used to it. Yep, just they're, they're just, just gonna, gonna keep turning. They're just gonna yep. they're just gonna go back in their shell and just keep keep making traditional Pokemon games and just leave it at that and never do anything else again. I mean, we had what fire the, the remake of Fire, you know, Red and Green, and don't worry, we'll get another remake of those and another remake of something else and another remake of a remake. Yeah. You know, that's that's all they're gonna keep doing it. Oh yeah, and people will keep buying it, and that's well, that's the part. The the thing is, people keep buying it because. Think about it. We got we grew out of it. Yeah. But they keep introducing more fans. Yeah. That's the that's no, what Pokemon's bread yeah. and butter is. They keep bringing new generations of fans in over and oh so like yeah, some of the old gen kind of cycles out, but they replace it with new and if they can keep doing that, then you just keep going forever. Yeah. That that's kind of been their, their no, bread and butter. For sure. Oh yeah, we're but, gonna lose some old fans, but it doesn't matter. We got new ones. Now yeah. they're like, um, okay, well, we might get new ones. But Breath of the Wild, like a hundred and fifty percent increased their fan base. Yeah, no, we for get, sure. So we can get new and we can get old and we can get yeah. it all together on one yeah. game. Are no, you for kidding sure. me right now? That's but pos- that, yeah. we didn't even know that was possible until Nintendo. Yeah, don't, showed. don't Nintendo, ever. Nintendo, Nintendo is the company that sold thirteen million Wii U's and Breath of the Wild has outsold the entire system. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like yeah. Nintendo knows how to bounce back from failure for sure. Game Freak and in, in Pokemon Company, they will never take and another Sword and Shield step sold, out of Sword and Shield sold really well too. So the they, Pokemon template you know, going forward if, if this, this bombs. bombs. I guarantee this is the biggest investment they've made in a game yet. And po- they don't generally spend a lot to make Pokemon games. So if they have a team of like 300, 400 people working on this, like that is, we've never seen that. Mm-hmm. So like, and if they get, they rope Nintendo in to try to help them like get it right, which I think they should. I think they absolutely. I mean, I think Nintendo is obviously probably roped in anyway. Nintendo yeah. partially owns the Pokemon yeah. IP, yeah. so Nintendo is going to want them to get it right. So I'm sure there's already Zelda teams probably talked. They probably offered help a monolith stuff. So like, it probably is yeah. the biggest team ever making a game. It's just, yeah. Hopefully they got it. Right. It's hopefully a lot of hype, right. but also it looked pretty rough. Hopefully but we're okay right. with it looking rough for now. It's if it improves up. every time we see it, we get to the end of the year and they do a trailer at the Game Awards and it still looks that rough. Then you can be, yeah. what have they been doing the last year? Yeah, they should have just released it a year ago. If this is what we're getting, yeah. Anyways, yeah. thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been fun for have this little Nintendo Prime conversation. <sighs> Lots of videos dropping this weekend. Be sure uh, if you haven't checked out the actual podcast we did about the 35th anniversary of Zelda. That was our last one. We dropped last Thursday, which Go was awesome. Check that out. We had Game Over Jesse and Miss Click Gaming on two excellent people, very passionate about Zelda. Really great crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we had. Uh, some other stuff happening at the channel over the weekend. Here we got have our first episode of the rebooted Prime Answers coming up, where I answer your guys' question in a more sit down, long form format that isn't like a live stream. I get time to research it and answer questions the nice. way that you guys probably want them to be answered, more in depth. I don't just fly through and ignore things because I can't get to your questions. No, not every question makes it in, of course, because right. I'm not gonna make a seven hour. <laughs> Twenty four hours the most later. Interesting questions that I think would make for a good show and, and you know maybe maybe I'll, I'll limit it to 10 or 15 I'm not sure but I'm going to pick the most interesting questions make a great show out of that uh, we have Zelda videos coming every single day so uh, 
stay tuned for that. Uh, one video you might want to check out is we, I recently did a video. Uh, it's technically not done at the time of recording this, but it will be before this one comes out uh, about uh, potential nice. HD uh, remakes of the Oracle series. Ooh. So you're going to want to check that video out. Uh, and we have some other Zelda conversations going on as well that I still haven't even thought of. But you know what? I promise a Zelda video every day because I'm an idiot. So <laughs> here we go. It's happening. Um, and I uh, think that might be it. Yeah, besides, oh, PlayStation 5 review impressions dropping this weekend and or Monday if I don't get the editing done in time. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, I know some people have been really wondering, like, what, what's this like Nintendo fanboy's take on PlayStation 5? Yeah. I'll tell you right now. I think it's pretty cool. But I also think you shouldn't buy it. I'll get into it in that review. Oof. All right, folks. Catch you in the next podcast episode. Yes. yes.